Hi, it's Paul Mosensen, New Spark Marketing. Today I'm going to do a video blog on using LinkedIn to find um, prospects for your business and using some of the tools that are out there in order to make the um, lead prospecting more efficient on LinkedIn. Okay, so here we go with a few different steps. You might find this interesting. Okay, let's say you are a regional sales manager and your product is a, a product that works with salesforce.com on their app exchange and you it's an, it's an add-on to salesforce so you want to reach people in charge of salesforce or VP of sales that kind of thing and you want to find these people and start engaging with them so what we're going to do first is find these people so let's just say we go to advanced search up here by the way it, it makes sense on this kind of um, strategy to have the premium version of LinkedIn so you can do more fine-tuned searching for people. This is called Lead Builder. So as you hit on advanced, search for jobs, search for people, search for leads. We're going to search for leads. There's a number of different ways to do this. So for now, let's an example, let's type in the CRM as a keyword. That means this keyword is in um, a person's profile. And let's because I'm a regional director, um, regional sales manager, we're going to basically pick a postal code, zip code, and um, let's say it's within 50 miles of Philadelphia, because that's where I am right now. And then we're going to pick, so far we still have a lot of people here, so we want to have some high-level executives. Pick four job titles see them. Uh, we won't worry about company size or function right now, um, but we'll pick company size because we want enterprise companies. So let's take 500 to 10,000. Okay, 7,400. All right. Well, we need to cut that down a little bit, don't we? Which we will. Maybe we can take off director and now we're at 6,500. 50 miles of 19001 with CRM. Okay. Now we're going to view results. When you view results, obviously the, the first ones you're going to see are um, first level connections, and they're probably already prospects or clients or just people that you know. So we'll take them off. And so you can see relationship down here, and there's about 2,900, near 3,000 second connections. Okay, so we now have 2990 in the Philadelphia area, which also covers some New York City, by the way, Allentown. Okay, um, that's still a lot of people to go after, so let's uh, do a little further targeting by just targeting information technology. So now we're getting closer. Now when you do these kinds of searches, you can certainly um, save the searches, which um, I believe you can save up to five to seven, depending on, I have a lot of searches here, but um, you can save five um, specific searches. I think with the, um, I think it's three or five on the premium five. So this is our, our target right now, second connections, information technology, VP, CXO, or senior executives company size. And now we start going out to these people and I always like to use the second connections because that allows me to um, see who um, um, we're shared with so we can um, um, click the little arrow here and, and get introduced which uh, helps you uh, connect to somebody without knowing that person. Um, you can also send them an email. Um, if you find somebody in the market that you want to Communic you know, communicate that person to you can press share and share that connection with somebody else. All right, so what do we do next? Um, sometimes it's good that when you reach out to people to learn a bit more about their company. So here's a company. We'll just go with this person here, or Laurel Ziegler, whoever that is. Click on her. Lutron Electronics. 
Well, you want to when you want to reach this person through an in-mail or connect with them, you sort of want to have a um, you know a trigger event or something. So you want to do a little research on the company a little bit. I mean, it's nice when you um, browse over the company so that you can actually uh, you know do a little research on the company. Uh, and then it goes right to um, the company page. And you can read out some of their uh, updates. Obviously looking for people to work for them, mostly. But you can follow the 9,000 followers. That's pretty good. You can follow them as well. That way, um, as a prospect, you can um, stay up to speed on their um, updates. And read about their products. So let's go back here. But when you hover over also, um, I like to use the right mouse click <laughs> because you can um, open link into a new tab. And you can read about their company. If you go at the bottom here, um, you can certainly follow them on, well, they're not on Twitter, <laughs> but um, you can certainly go to their Facebook and read more about them as well. I like to go to the, um, now of course I'm doing this live here, but I do like to see their press releases if they have any. Here we go. Or in the news, that kind of thing. And uh, try to find something that might be relevant. Shows that you're doing some research. So these are press releases. And if you find something relevant, you can mention that when you reach out to that person. Let's see what else is here. Our company, we also have a in the news section. So let's look at that one too. Okay, so they're picking up articles and things about Lutron Electronics. Okay, so um, actually a pretty good thing. It looks like they had something on uh, Fox and Friends, a Fox News channel. Um, so you can certainly reach out to her and connect with her. Now, you haven't done business with her yet, but um, it's ideal to do a like a introduction like we mentioned before. But if you're not really connected with her and there's not in any shared groups and things like that, it makes sense just to send her a uh, an email. Now I'm not going to really do it, but um, you can just type in information here and just send her a, um, a trigger message that shows that you learned about the company a little bit and mentioned that um, you know you like to get connected and um, you know tactfully ask for a connection. Spell it right. And um, politely ask for a phone conversation um, soon, not being too aggressive, that kind of thing. And see what she does. Not everybody's going to connect with you, but um, if they check out your profile and they click on your website from your own profile, they'll see what you're doing. Um, but most important thing right now is um, that's one way to, to target somebody who you want to target. Um, but like I said though, if there's a second connection here, then you have the opportunity to let me go back to this person here, is to see who's connected. And create a, uh, an introduction. That'll help uh, Laurel here to um, connect with you. And then um, you can start sharing content with that person, that kind of thing. So um, that's how you do searches for LinkedIn. Um, if you want to learn more about a company like uh, Lutron or any of these other companies, um, there's certainly lots of tools that you can use also. Mention is a pretty cool tool to track um, you know, searches on Twitter and, and other social media channels, um, or you can import, import your own Google Alerts. You create alert of a keyword, that kind of thing. You can use a company name or that kind of thing. <clears throat> we'll go through a lot of these uh, another day, but I use um, Feedly to, um, you know, 
read blogs and things like that. It's all about sharing content with people. I use Tagboard to track hashtags so I can um, you know, do more research and retweet. Um, and of course there's Follower Wonk which uh, allows you to search for keywords by um, in um, say Philadelphia by searching people's um, biographies on Twitter. And we also have you know things like Twitter search, you know advanced search. We can also um, search for keywords and things like that. We won't go into that right now. But going back to LinkedIn here, the other thing you can do so you start you know working these connections and finding these people and saving these searches, and you know you can even uh, really get down to search people by groups. Um, you know, with a premium, um, you know, with a premium uh, membership at LinkedIn, and this, you know, seniority level, things like that, which I've already picked. Okay. Now, eventually, when you have these people, you can certainly share content with them. And uh, you know, I look at my contacts that are already connected here. I can do lots of searches for people. Um, Here's some people I've really recently engaged with, but um, if I want to filter some people, a really important thing you can do title or tag um, when you connect with people. So see, these are some tags that I have filled out. So I can uh, search for CEOs in Philadelphia, um, or the or actually not Philadelphia, but people in my connections, and um, and basically you know you can create your own tag if you want, so you can sort your contacts, so you can reach out to them later on. You can follow them on Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, things like that. Um, or you can um, actually hide or remove the person or send them a unique message. So I thought that was a, a good way to send unique messages to certain people you want to target. And that's what you use with um, the LinkedIn contacts for the most part is tagging people and um, creating tags and where you can search for people and send them custom messages. Okay, um, the other thing you can do is when you do send a message, um, you know, obviously be tactful and be informational, you know, share them content. And that's why using some of these RSS feeds like I have here and finding content um, would be good to share um, people with. Because I do that a lot, you know, I, I share a lot of content and I use a lot of tools to um, share content with specific people if I wanted to or my contacts or specific groups. But, um, then this reminds you, of course, of who you recently visited. Now, huh, she's going to come to me and say, who's this person? Why would this person be visiting me? Well, um, hopefully she won't matter. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's a really, really brief look at um, how to um, you know, connect with people on LinkedIn who you don't know. Um, but again, it's important to use um, lots of other tools like Google Alerts and Mention and, um, and other places so that you can... Um, you know, follow that company and retweet their content so they know that you're paying attention. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope uh, that was helpful.